Hey guys, so I am back with a new video and this is going to be the fourth installment for the Disney Princess Collection and it is inspired by the movie Tangled and by the Princess Rapunzel. So let's get started. For my Rapunzel fashion design, I honestly did not have an idea of what I wanted to do. So obviously I had to go on Google Images to find photos for inspiration and referencing such as um, images of the fabric called taffeta. I've never actually seen or touched this fabric in person so I had to rely on Google Images to kind of mimic the same texture and use that for the design since as I said a couple of videos back I wanted to render different types of fabrics for the different princesses in this collection so obviously for Rapunzel I chose taffeta. Um, I don't honestly remember the reason as to why I chose this fabric for Rapunzel, it could have probably been because maybe her personality, kind of, I don't know. But I did have a reason back when I chose this fabric for her. Um, that was a long time ago when I did my Elsa drawing and I honestly can't remember for the life of me as to what the reason is. Um, and yeah, I also used for the design um, existing Rapunzel fashion illustrations, as well as the flower that they used for the movie. This is actually my second rough sketch for the illustration just because I didn't want or I didn't like Rapunzel's pose in the previous one and also I wanted to just make it neat um, since the previous sketch it was all over the place I was basically brainstorming on one single figure instead of doing little vignettes of little dresses um, I had the figure right in front of me and I had a general shape for the dress and I was just basically drawing lines and then rubbing them off and then drawing them again d differently until I kind of had an idea or the final dress design and it was confusing for me so I had to transfer that onto like a different paper and I had to redraw it which you can see and then I will obviously go into the whole transferring that onto the light box and then inking it with um, the Pilot GTEC 0.3 millimeter black fine liner. So for the coloring of the dress, I obviously had to go back on Google Images to find the reference photos that I was going to use to render the fabric. For choosing the colors um, with the Copic markers, all I had to do was have a swatch paper and test out the different shades of purples and pinks and see which colors kind of went well together in my opinion and obviously I chose those colors. I normally go for three to four different shades. Um, obviously I could go more or go less depending on the type of 
style that I'm going for. If I want it to be more realistic, I'm going to go for a lot more different shades. And if I'm going to go for a more simplified version, obviously I'm going to have at least one or two different shades of one color. Um, yeah, so that's what I did. I kind of just tested them out individually, but I would recommend that you actually blend the colors that you've chosen together on the swatch paper, kind of just like a sample. It doesn't have to be big, it just needs to be like a small scale so you get a general gist of what it's actually going to look like on the illustration. I didn't do that for this one. I kind of just tested them out individually, see which ones kind of went well together, and then use that immediately on the illustration because I was a bit lazy when doing this drawing. So yeah, but I would recommend that you blend them out on a swatch paper. the coloring of this illustration I used mainly two pencils to create that iridescent look of the fabric and I used a black and a white color pencil um, obviously white for the highlights and black for the shadows um, the contrasting colors really just help capture um, anything shiny so if you ever want to color metal or um, leather even, or satin, those types of textures, shiny textures, I would always recommend using black for the shadows and white for the highlights. And yeah, I'm gonna leave it here. Um, hopefully you guys like this fashion illustration um, and hopefully you like this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next one.